ants. I've been fighting ants on my roof for a week. Thought I got rid of them. But they're back. <laughs> Hi friends. Thanks for watching our video today. Makes Bandit and I really happy when you do. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell before you move along on your day. Today we're going to fight the battle of the ants on the roof of the uh, Millennium Falcon. Good little bugger ants. <laughs> I don't like them too much. They're not only back, but they have infested a second site now. And they, they come back suddenly as well. Uh, they're gone, and I don't see hiding or hair of them. And then suddenly, boom, they're back, and they've got uh, a pretty sizable nest built, at least, at least from my reckoning, it's a sizable nest. Several thousand, anyway. So they started off building uh, nests down there uh, underneath my first pair of solar panels. You can see down there in the wires, you can see a lot of dead ones uh, because I've sprayed poison. They also have uh, started now to uh, infiltrate underneath this uh, second solar panel here and also in my air conditioning unit so there's the the cover of my air conditioning unit there off of uh, off of the top of the uh, the working parts Here, there are quite a few in there. So I got a lot of them uh, with uh, this wasp spray that I have. I didn't have any real ant killer spray. I just had this wasp spray. So uh, that's what I used, and uh, it has uh, seemed to work uh, all right. Uh, at least on contact, it doesn't seem to have too much residual effect on them. So. Uh, We'll see. Uh, I plan on I plan on uh, zapping them again tonight with what little wasp spray that I have left, and tomorrow I've got to go into town, and I'll tell you about that in a minute, uh, and uh, I'll get some more uh, bug killer. Well, here we are climbing up. On the roof of the Millennium Falcon to see if we've got the ant problem solved. Maybe, at least for now. So right over there underneath that uh, first uh, panel, that's where the biggest nest was. There were actually uh, looked like two or three that were starting to form there. Well, underneath this uh, second panel, there was some residual spillover. And underneath this uh, second set of panels, panel three and panel four, there was more residual spillover. Then, I had to take off my air conditioning cowling because they had gotten underneath that and, and caused uh, a lot of uh, build up there. Sorry. Sorry about the wind, but in this case, the wind has been my friend. I think that... Uh, the high winds that we've been experiencing, gusts up to 40 miles an hour, uh, that that high wind has uh, blow, helped to blow them away and or keep them away. So that's a good thing. 
I hope my ant problem is done. I don't like ants. <laughs> they are a problem. Yabba dabba, no ants. <laughs> as long as I'm up here on my uh, rooftop, here's a, a little scenic view of what's out there in the desert. The kind of sandy place there, uh, just past the uh, first uh, junkie RV, <laughs> is uh, the wash. The big wash that uh, was really flowing hard during the rainstorms uh, three weeks ago or so. And over this way you can see the burned out hulk of the uh, RV that burned up. Uh, just uh, a couple weeks ago. Got a video up on that too. And looking out this way, we got uh, Nyland, uh, California out there. And beyond Nyland is Calpatria. And beyond Calpatria is Brawley. I hate ants, I hate ants, I hate ants, I hate ants, I hate ants! Did I ever tell you that I hate ants? <laughs> <laughs> I hate fleas and I hate ants and uh, they have both been the bane of my existence uh, from time to time in my life but uh, ants seem to like to make a nest on my uh, RV I've had uh, ants um, at least once maybe twice before little infestations not big, super major ones, like there's a big ant hill in the middle of my sofa or something. But uh, infestations nonetheless. I know, I think I should get a second opinion here. Hey, Bandit. Do you like ants? No, Papa, I don't like ants. Uh, I hate ants. In fact, they they uh, they don't taste very good. Uh, I like to I like those sky raisins that I chase in here sometimes, and and I catch a fly once in a while. But I don't like ants. They don't taste very good. And matter of fact, I don't even like uncles. Oh ha 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 ha! Uh, that was a bandit joke. I take it. <laughs> Jeez. He's, he doesn't like uncles. So anyway, we're down off the roof now, and uh, I think I've got the ant problem taken care of for now. Uh, don't see any nests up there. Don't see any even single ants up there. Uh, use the uh, wasp spray and uh, let it sit for a couple of days and seem to do a pretty good job uh, killing the ants. I picked up more uh, wasp spray and uh, ant spray as well so I've got some backup cans but uh, anyway don't see any signs of them up there and um, we had a, a really good wind uh, last night up to 40 miles an hour and um, gusts anyway that were that high according to AccuWeather and so uh, uh, that seemed to blow any uh, remains of uh, any of the nests and the, and any of the ants off. I left the I left the um, the solar panels up during that wind, at least during part of it, and so it got under there and cleaned it out pretty well. I don't usually leave the solar panels up like that when it's real windy. But the thing about uh, those solar panel systems and the actuators that I have on it and the way that it's built in, they're built to sub to sustain. Uh, really heavy wind blow because of course I'm traveling down the the highway at 60 miles an hour sometimes so uh, they're they're very solid built so I don't worry about that too much but I don't push my luck with them and when it gets real windy I I tend to put them down flat uh, but last night I or the other night I put them up um, uh, or last night I put them up and and left them up for a period of time to let the wind blow out the the ant skeletons. <laughs> I didn't see any uncles up there though, Bandit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uncles. <laughs> hey, thanks for riding along with us today on our video. We really enjoyed having you. The ant situation we hope is in the rearview mirror. 
So subscribe and click the bell. We'll see you next time.